Hello everyone. As a continuation of trigonometry, today let's consider some more problems on the same. Consider first question. Prove that sin theta minus 2 sin cube theta divided by 2 cos cube theta minus cos theta equal to tan theta. Consider LHS part of that. That is sin theta minus 2 sin cube theta divided by 2 cos cube theta minus cos theta. If you observe the numerator, we can take sin theta as the common factor outside. So, 1 minus 2 sin square theta remains. Similarly, the denominator, if we take cos theta as the common factor outside, then 2 cos square theta minus 1 remains. Now, we can write sin theta by cos theta as tan theta and in the remaining part, keep 1 minus 2 sin square theta as it is. If we consider the denominator, 2 we have but replace cos square theta using the identity. We know that sin square theta plus cos square theta is 1. So, if we want to replace cos square in terms of sin square, so that will be 1 minus sin square theta minus 1 as it is. Now, if we multiply, keeping all other values as it is, we will get tan theta into 1 minus 2 sin square theta divided by, now if we multiply, 2 ones are 2 and this minus 1, so 2 minus 1 that is 1 minus 2 into this value we will get 2 sin square theta and this term will get cancelled with this. So the remaining answer is tan theta and that is equal to RHS which is a needed term. Let's move on to next question. Prove that sin a plus cosecant a whole square plus cos a plus secant a whole square equal to 7 plus tan square a plus cot square a. Let's consider LHS of this. That is sin a plus cosecant a whole square plus cos a plus secant a whole square. We know that a plus b whole square expansion that is a square plus b square plus 2ab. If we apply the same over here, we will get sin square a plus cosecant square a plus 2 sin a into cosecant a plus apply the same formula over here, we will get cos square a plus secant square a plus 2 cos a secant a and we know that cosecant a is the reciprocal of sin so these two terms get cancelled. Similarly secant a is the reciprocal of cos so these two terms get cancelled. Therefore the remaining values if we use the identity to simplify sin square a plus cos square a that is equal to 1 and keep all other values as it is that is cosecant square a plus here 2 remains plus secant square a again 2 remains so 2 plus 2 4 plus 1 5 plus if you observe the answer we need the answer in terms of tan and cot so cosecant square can be written in terms of cot Using identity, cosecant square is equal to 1 plus cot square a plus secant square is equal to 1 plus tan square a. So, if we simplify this again, 5 plus 1 plus 1 that is 7 plus tan square a plus cot square a. This is equal to RHS which is the needed answer. Now move on to the next question. Prove that cosecant a minus sin a into secant a minus cos a equal to 1 by 
tan A plus cot A. To simplify this expression, we have to simplify both LHS and RHS. So consider LHS of the expression cosecant A minus sin A. We know that cosecant is the reciprocal of sin. So we can write this as 1 by sin A minus sin A into secant A minus cos A. Secant is the reciprocal of cos. So write the so write secant as 1 by cos A minus cos A. Now, if we take sin A as LCM, the numerator part will be 1 minus sin square A. Similarly, in the second factor, if we take cos A as LCM, then the numerator will be 1 minus cos square A. Using identity, we know that 1 minus sin square A is cos square A divided by sin A as it is into 1 minus cos square A that is sin square A divided by cos A as it is. One cos term get cancelled, one sin term get cancelled. So the remaining answer will be cos A into sin A. Let this equation be 1. Consider RHS of the equation that is 1 by tan A plus cot A. 1 by tan A plus cot A. That is 1 by, we know that tan is sin A by cos A plus cot is cos A by sin A. Now if we take sin A cos A as LCM, we can write this as sin A by cos A. After simplification of this part, we will get sin square A plus cos square A in the denominator. And we know that sin square A plus cos square A is 1. So the remaining answer will be sin A into cos A. And let this be equation 2. Now if we compare equation 1 and 2, we conclude that equation 1 equal to 2. Now move on to the next question. Now here we have to prove two inequalities. Now let us consider 1 plus tan square A by 1 plus cot square A. And this must be equal to tan square A that is to be proved. Consider 1 plus tan square A using identity 1 plus tan square A equal to secant square A. Divide by 1 plus cot square A equal to cosecant square A. We know that secant square is the reciprocal of cos. So can be written as 1 by cos square A. Divide by cosecant square is the reciprocal of sin actually. So can be written as 1 by sin square A. So if we simplify these two, we will get sin square A by cos square a that is equal to tan square a and which is equal to RHS. Now let's consider second part of this that is 1 minus tan a divided by 1 minus cot a whole square. This can also be written as 1 minus tan a divided by 1 minus we know that cot A is the reciprocal of tan. So 1 by tan A, keep that whole square as it is. Now if we take tan A as LCM, keep numerator 1 minus tan A as it is. In the denominator, if we take tan A as LCM, numerator will be tan A minus 1. Whole square remains as it is. Now, if we observe, this is 1 minus tan A and in the denominator, it is tan A minus 1. As power 2 exists, we can write this as 1 minus tan A and that get cancelled with the numerator. So the remaining portion will be 1 by 1 by tan A that can be written as tan A whole square or tan square A, which is the required answer. 
Thank you for watching this video. Please share and subscribe.